Thank you, Madam Evaluations Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, but of course, especially Kolani. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important for me to say to Kolani, well done on having the courage to come up here and do your first speech. You are on your way with your Toastmaster speaking career. Now, in the old days, when I and I joined the <laughs> 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 was the old When I joined the we used to have class fail. People would come up here and they didn't know if their evaluator was going to say that they were through or if they should repeat. We don't do that anymore. And of course for CC1s, we didn't want to scare them away. So we never had pass fail for CC1. But for you, if this was to be pass fail, I would say that you have certainly passed. I feel that you spoke very naturally. What I liked about your speaking style is it came across very conversationally. Also, you spoke in a very unhurried way. And in Toastmasters, we relate that in three things. It's pitch, pace, and pause. I felt that you had good pace. Normally, when people are nervous, they speak very quickly. They're like a machine gun. You spoke with good pace, and you had decent pauses. And then the other thing that impressed me as well is you came and you spoke without notes. So I'm giving you what I've seen that is your already good natural skill. So the first thing we look for is someone as when they do their first speeches, what do they already do well? And those are the things I've seen so far. Now, I would like to see you improve. And of course, for your next speech, there's a couple of things which if you already know about this, if you're already aware of it, you're aware of it, you'll be able to improve. So points to improve now. With CC1s, it's always important for us to be lenient. So I don't want to criticize you too heavily because then you're going to run away and never come back. <laughs> so you have a good voice. It's a good resonant voice. Develop that voice. Okay. What I felt was that it was just a little soft. And whenever you're in the room, be aware of what's in the room. In this case, that air conditioner is a demon. The people that are sitting under that air conditioner might not hear you. Not because your voice isn't loud enough, because I was sitting over there and I could hear you, but because that thing drowns you out. So you've always got to compensate for that. So you've got a good resonant voice, develop that voice, make it even more resonant, and develop the body. Now, pitch. That's where gents like you, with a deep resonant voice, can become a little bit monotonous. And that's what I, uh, I spoke about. So you think pitch, pace, and pause. You've got good pace, good pause. Just be aware of a little bit of pitch. Don't allow your voice to become monotonous. Let it modulate. That you'll be on your way to having a good speaking voice. I noticed that you clasped your hands a little bit in the beginning, but then as you warmed up, so your gestures began to come. Okay? If people are nervous, they tend to do that. So if you're aware of that, you'll, you'll make a point of not doing that. Okay? This one is again a touchy subject. I don't like to pick on grammar or pronunciation for people that have, don't have English as their first language. The thing is, though, I want to make you aware of it so that this is now something you could work on. Okay? It's not a bad point for this speech, but if you're aware of it, you'll improve later on. Um, you said, on my grandmother's home. Okay. It correctly, it should be in my grandmother's home. So I think the, the best thing is get a mentor to help you. Yeah. They can read over your stuff and you'll pick up these silly little mistakes. Okay? The other thing is, um, pronunciation is important. Okay? I heard onion. Okay. I know it's spelled with an O, but English is funny that way. We say it's funny. Okay. So those are small things. But if you've got a mentor, a mentor will find these things in your speech before you deliver it and you'll improve. Okay. Alright, the other thing you've got to watch for is time. For CC1s, we don't worry. They could talk here for 15 minutes and we would be as patient and listen to the whole speech. But of course, the minute you do your CC2 and 1, you've got to watch that. Those lights. Okay. What I like from your speech? There were, there were word pictures and phrases. The phrase that I liked was creator of my own experience. I liked the way you ended your speech off of that phrase. The other thing I liked was you spoke about listening to the radio when you were watching the cars. You're listening to radio. Now, TV really spoon feeds you, but when you listen to the radio, your imagination really works. And that for me, it reminded me of when I used to listen to the radio and my imagination used to work. And you see all that imagery with 
just the sound from the radio. I reminisced on listening to radio plays mm -hmm. and, and enjoying it. And that, for me, was a one word, radio, but it was a word picture for me. I also like the fact that you took the trouble to wear the tie. <coughs> it's a small point, but we must always remember that if you look good, if you know you look good, if you've taken the trouble to put on a tie and a jacket, because you're going to be presenting to all of them, 